Describing motion and forces like that In the year of 1687 A book in Latin was published by Sir Isaac Newton Philosophy, Naturalis, Principia, Mathematica It's often referred to as the Principia And is considered one of the most important works in the history of science It's a book that explains Newton's law of universal gravitation And also Newton's laws of motion There are three physical laws that describe the relationship between the motion of an object and the forces acting on it. The first law says a body either stays at rest or moves at a constant speed in a straight line unless it's acted upon by a net force in time. This law is sometimes called the law of inertia because inertia is the resistance of an object to any change in its motion. For example, if you're standing still at constant velocity, you're remaining. You're not gonna move unless some other force like a person bodying you comes in flying. The second part is like if you throw a ball, it should move forever in a straight line But because it's on Earth, friction and gravity changes its direction, slows down in time Newton's second law basically says that the net force of an object is equal to the mass of that object Times the acceleration of the subject For example, your weight is a force you feel on Earth caused by gravity It's commonly represented by the equation weight equals mass times little g It's the same equation as the one before because your weight is the force and little g is the constant acceleration of objects that fall here on earth Little g is roughly equal to 9.8 meters per second squared falling in the air So if you know your mass, multiply by that to get your weight on a scale The third law of motion pretty much says that in every action There is always an equal and opposite reaction If you punch your TV screen cause your favorite team pisses you off You're gonna feel the same force pushing back on your hand Don't be shocked The reason you feel that is because the forces do not cancel out that's because they're applied to different objects I do tell But wait, notice how my TV did not go flying across my room That's actually an example of Newton's second law now in view That is because my weak punch generated less force to date than the mass of the TV Which means it barely accelerates But because my mass is larger than the mass of the TV The TV's gonna move a little while I barely move at all fortunately Isaac Newton Whole three laws to investigate and explain the motions of many physical objects and as well as systems. I am Sir Isaac Newton and I'm here to teach you about my laws of motion that are in your field of view. My name is Sir Isaac Newton, the English polymath was learned about my laws describing motion and forces like that.